Welcome everyone to Taproot Tarot. Today we're going to look at, ooh, we got some, some severe energy going on here. We're just going to kind of do a general love reading. Oh my goodness, there's something going on. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. <sighs> okay. One time here. Let's try it again. These cards are going all over the place. This is a little bit crazy. Okay, so. The bottom of the deck. The overall energy for this reading is the chariot. The major arcana card. So this is definitely part of your journey. You know, we all are on that hero's journey. Trying to learn our lessons, right? Okay, so... You're, you're taking some action here. I'm not sure exactly what it is you're doing yet, but you're taking some action. I don't know. I don't feel like, I don't get a real positive vibe. I feel like there's a little bit of naughtiness going on for some reason. When I look at that graffiti, even though it says be nice, there's just something about it. So we'll see. Oh, this, the devil, the devil. I hope everybody can see things a little clearly here. Ooh, okay, another major arcana card. Hmm. Ah, this feels like a lot of lustful energy here. I don't see you can, I don't see see this as like a permanent thing I but I see you are definitely lusting after somebody that energy is coming through loud and clear your obstacle the eight of pentacles at work this is something going on at work so you have You have feelings or you're lusting over somebody at work. I love this uh, Eight of Pentacles because it just shows somebody who's actually kind of all over the place instead of focusing on their job. And uh, it appears that you have your focus elsewhere than on your job. So let's see here. In the past, in your past, you had the Eight of Cups. Or you have the Eight of Cups. So maybe you felt like somebody left you. Looks like it was a fire sign that was involved with this leaving. Your current situation is the Eight of Swords. So whatever's going on here, this is this is a work. Uh, this is this is a workplace. What do you want to call it? Um, I guess most people would say workplace romance, but it's it's definitely a lust between you and somebody else. And it's causing you to feel all tangled up inside. A uh, possible outcome here. Justice. Whew. Well, uh... 
if this continues or if, if this turns into an actual affair, um, this could be painful to somebody and I don't, I don't know if that's somebody on your side or the other person, but the truth is going to come out, come out. Somebody's going to find out about, about this, uh, and, and, uh, the truth's going to come out. That's what I'm hearing. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, I'm going to have to clarify here because I want to give you at least a potential overall outcome. So if you keep lusting over this person, what is the overall outcome? If you keep lusting over, let me see here. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to shuffle. See what we get here. Let's see. Watch it. Two of Wands. You have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between your job and you have to make a choice between that person. You you both can't work in the same area or that for, for the same employer uh, or it's going to impact your job. So you have a choice to make in this situation. So this workplace romance, lusty thing that's going on, it can get you in trouble. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, share, and subscribe.